When we set out to develop the new e-recording feature for SnapClose Pro, our goal was to create a simple to use but highly efficient tool to make the e-recording process as effortless as possible. We've worked with CSC, formerly known as Ingeo, to make that process secure, safe, and fast. For now, not all documents can be e-recorded, mostly due to limitations at the government level. But we suspect as the process becomes more popular, those limitations will improve. Our arrangements with CSC give you an easy built-in ACH mechanism to transmit the monies to effectuate a transaction. In most transactions, the three most common documents to be recorded are deeds, mortgages, and affidavits. These documents are readily accessible from SnapClose Pro's document screen. First, to configure the e-recording feature, go into the administrator part of the program and click on the list tab. Then click on the e-recording button located in the non-state specific list section. In order to complete this screen, first you will need to register with CSC and provide them with your bank account information. In order to register, please contact Kevin Kinderman at CSC by the email displayed. After doing so, CSC will provide you with your ACH details that you will enter here. The ACH details consist of your account username, password, and domain name. This is a one-time setup and allows your documents to be processed in SnapClose Pro. Under domain name, there is a link to the terms and conditions of our agreement with you. It displays the details and fees that are associated with the e-recording. After reviewing the terms and conditions, check the box confirming acceptance and then click the Add button. Furthermore, to activate the e-recording screen in your files, click the Company Profile tab in the Administrator section. Check the box Show e-record and click Save. You have completed the basics needed to process the e-recording of your files. Before proceeding to e-recording, a file has to be created. In the Profile tab, seller, buyer, and lender details have to be filled in along with the lender principal amount and purchase price. The document to be e-recorded has to be created, uploaded, or scanned in the Documents tab. Ordinarily, you will already have signed deed, mortgage, or affidavit documents, and therefore you can upload or scan the document into the system using the Import and Scan buttons at the top of the Docs tab. Once you have done that, you will be able to select that document when you process your e-recording. If you do not already have a document, you can create one using our library of documents that are included in our system using the Create Documents button. Once you have created the document and it is signed, you can upload or scan the document back into the system. You are now ready to process a new e-recording. To process the e-recording, click on the e-record tab located in the file. Then click on the new e-recording button on the top left of the screen. On the left of this screen, you will see the available document types accepted for e-recording in that particular county. For example, if you wanted to record a deed, simply select the type of deed from the list and the e-recording requirement details will display on the screen. The block number, consideration amount, grantee, grantor, and other necessary information will automatically populate from the information you have already entered in the file. Select the execution date by clicking on the dropdown. Then select the document that you want to e-record by simply checking the box next to the document name. The documents in this list are populated based on the documents you have in the Documents tab in the file. Now click on the Add Document for e-recording button, which is located below the document list. As you see, the document will transfer to the selected box at the bottom of the screen. In addition, you can record other documents at the same time as this document, such as mortgages, affidavits, and any other documents that you wish to record for that particular county by repeating the same process. Select the document type, such as a mortgage, 
and then select the execution date by clicking on the drop down. And once again, check the box next to the document name and click the add document for e-recording button. And as you see, the mortgage has also transferred to the selected box at the bottom of the screen. You can e-record as many documents as you like using this process. To complete the process, click on Submit. A box will appear that says e-recording submitted and press OK. After you have submitted your e-recordings, they will be displayed on the tracking screen. On the tracking screen, you can view and manage your e-recordings and determine their current status. To see the details of the current status, you can either move your mouse over the status, or you can right-click and select Details. SnapClose Pro will keep you informed of the status of your e-recordings. There are three different statuses. The first status is the pending status, which shows that the document has been submitted to CSC and the e-recording process is proceeding. Following the pending status, there will either be a recorded or rejected status for your e-recording. If the status display is rejected, the e-recording has been rejected for a particular reason. An explanation for the rejection will be shown. This e-recording was rejected because it requires an original parcel number. Please note, as long as the parcel number has been entered into SnapClose Pro, this will not be a cause for rejection. If the file has been properly entered into SnapClose, the parcel number along with the other necessary information for your e-recording will automatically populate and your e-recording will be successful. If the status display is recorded, the e-recording has been successfully completed. To view or email the recorded document, right-click on the document. Now let's view the document. Recorded documents will generally have a county stamp on the top right corner. The book and page number on the stamp will automatically populate the policy section of the file, which is located in the Policy tab. As you see, the book and page numbers of our recorded documents are populated here. The book and page number of the recorded D document will be populated in the Owner Policy section, while the book and page number for the recorded mortgage document will be populated in the Loan Policy section. You can also track your e-recording in the file with your other searches in the Orders and Reminders tab. You can customize this tab by selecting the headers you would like to appear. To do this, right click and select Show Pick List. Simply check which header you would like to appear. Let's select Submission Date and then click Apply. As you see, Submission Date now appears in the screen. In addition, you can track the status for e recordings of all your files by clicking on Search in the Orders and Reminders section of the left navigation bar. You can enter any search criteria that you would like, such as when the order is due, the file number, the order status, when it was ordered or completed, and even who it was ordered or read by. The order status that we are going to select is recorded, and we are going to select orders from the month of February. Once you have selected your search criteria, click on the View Results button. As you can see, the e-recordings are listed for all your files. Furthermore, we suggest that you reconcile the e-recording data. To generate a reconciliation report for e-recording, click on the Reconcile e-recording tab located in the Banking section of the left navigation bar. Select the Start Date, End Date, and Status By fields. Reports can be generated by statuses such as Submit Date, Submitted but Not Recorded, Recorded Date, and Rejected. Let's select Recorded Date. Then click on the View Results button. As you see, the results are displayed here. Similar to other search screens in SnapClose Pro, this search screen utilizes infragistics. Therefore, you can expand the results grid by clicking on the plus sign, and you will be provided with further information regarding the e-recording. This allows you to obtain important information without leaving the search screen. In addition, if you would like to go directly to the file to view more information, you can either double click or right click and select view. After the results have been displayed, to create the full reconciliation report, click on export to Excel. 
where the Save As window will pop up and allow you to save the report. Reconciliation reports provide the details of your e-recordings for the date selected. This includes file and document information, as well as the recording fee, transfer tax, ER fee, and total fee of your e-recordings. You have now completed the entire e-recording process. Now you have seen how fast and simple it is to record documents using SnapClose Pro. Once you have completed the one-time administrator setup, the process takes less than two minutes. The work is all done for you.